Good morning. Good evening. Whatever time you may be watching. Hey, it's your girl Ruby Sue's, and I am back with another video. Um, I want to say a big, big thank you to every single one of you who has grown the family, who has ventured out to share a video, given me a thumbs up, commented below. I am so grateful that you've decided to and join me on this wacky journey that I'm on as a wife, as a mother, and a general busybody. I assure you, the journey is going to be adventurous, I think. But anyway, I'm so glad and I'm so grateful that you've joined. So I decided to continue in this kind of love and marriage vibe that I've gone on. So we're officially nine years and one week um, being married. And I thought I'd just kind of summarize, condense, consolidate, summarize, conclude, compact, give you a nine year lesson. No, nine years worth of lessons in nine minutes. So, lesson number one, year one. How can I summarize it in one minute? No one owns the money. Like, that was such a huge lesson to me. Um, we first got married, landed off the plane, and all hell broke loose financially for us. And I realized that I was getting seriously on my high horse, thought that I, you know, um, could control things and get involved with things and I, I could I had a voice and I had to say sorry I'm keeping an eye on the time but the truth is I had to understand that it was a joint venture marriage is about two pots of money it's about two sources of income It's about ours every single pound every single penny that I earned was about us together so it's not my money your money is our money and that was a big lesson that i had to learn and i think that everybody learns through the course of the marriage that it's not about yours or mine it's about ours lesson two babies don't come automatically i literally thought when we got married um that my husband would cough sneeze look at me and i would be pregnant instantly um, and it didn't happen and I was really taken aback by that. I just thought it was basic biology like you do the deeds, you get the seeds, it mixes up and you produce a baby. Oh look I rhymed. <laughs> but the truth is I really honestly do think I thought that babies would just happen automatically and um, and it would just happen and it, and it didn't and it and it took a long time um do click the link below um, above if you want to see anything to do with my fertility journey and how it came to be and i had to come to terms with the fact that it wasn't happening as straightforward as automatically as i would have liked peeps this is hard you know like i got my clock here and it's just it's just chasing me away lesson number three his family is your family there is no longer any of this whole um you know it's your brother or it's your sister it's your mum it's our brother it's our sister because what affects you what affects him affects you and i had to learn that it's not about his anymore and, and it, it it really it's not nice for it to be in the third person because it's easier when you're the other person like oh that's your mum or that's your brother or that's your sister or that's your cousin the truth of the matter is when the table is now turned on you and all of a sudden it's like that's your mum that's your then it becomes like what do you mean like it, it it becomes less personal and it doesn't help with the spirit of peace and unity that you're trying to breed that breed breed spread grow yeah them ones that you're trying to encourage in your family um so yeah it's really important that you see it's really important that you make sure that it's about our family four uh sex isn't intimacy and um just because you're doing the deed doesn't necessarily mean that you're best of friends or you know each other better um, or you feel closer or you have a better understanding of what each other is about and that was a big lesson to me um, because I had to kind of let go of what I've been taught in the Hollywood scene and what movies and my 
brain had taught me and imagined about what's happening between the sheets and it's on a much deeper level than just okay let's just get it on like there is so much more to it intimacy knowing someone intimately is about understanding their wants their desires their fears their concerns there's so much more to building that and once you have a greater sense of intimacy and you're open with each other and honest with each other then sex goes up like max maximizes Yeah, I am sucking at this one minute challenge, but yeah, um, it maximizes the intensity of what you guys are doing. Yeah. Lesson number five. Feelings are so important. It's so important to acknowledge each other's feelings. Now this goes without saying that you should be open and honest with them in the first place and they're so important because they help to understand and um, the other person and prevent arguments it's important to kind of acknowledge what the other person is feeling it's not just be like yeah i'm sorry but like it's it's important to say i hear you you know you hear those awkward cheesy american things but like it does work if you say things i hear what you're saying i like what you're saying i understand i can identify with your saying it goes a long way to helping someone feel at ease your husband or your wife to feel at ease so that they can open up to you more ha! in a minute whoa lesson six don't chase couple goals b a couple goal now what I mean by this and I'm gonna try and summarize it real quickly within a minute is the fact that we have been um, surrounded with images of how couples should be that you know they have the perfect wedding and they get the perfect videographer and they're in love and they write their own vows and yada yada da and it's like they write their names in each other's blood and all this well not blood but you know what I mean like everything is just so in sync the truth of the matter is you can't follow anybody else's foot um, blueprint so your husband might not be very vocal when it comes to romance fine but he's great at I don't know washing dishes or you know doing something else that somebody else isn't you know the grass is always greener is basically what I'm trying to say appreciate the person you have in front of you not the person you imagine that person should be don't bring out the checklist no more you've done away with that you're married now you've got to deal with the person that is in front of you and love them just as much as they're loving you when you not don't match up to their checklist lesson seven now this one's gonna hurt are you ready sit down you're messed up <laughs> like you're broken and you need to fix you before you start pointing the fingers and and that is so hard to hear when you're going through a really rough patch in your marriage and all you can think of is how that person has hurt you you need to remember that you are broken you are hurting and you have issues that you have to deal with and it's so easy to point the finger at your husband or to point your finger at your wife but it's much harder to take that mirror and point it back at you and work out what is what is going on with you is there anything that has been in your history is there anything that has any habit you've picked up that has led you to you know desire certain things or want certain things from your husband or your wife that so greatly that is you know causing you to trip up it's important to look at yourself and make sure that you're not speaking from a place of brokenness. I mean, everybody's got a need, but the truth is your husband or your wife can't be your everything. They can't fix you. You've got to fix you. I've gone over time, but you've got to fix you. Lesson eight, children change things. Now this is totally obvious. Most people understand that when tiny little people come, everything goes haywire. And that is, it is true, but it's like a shock to the system. I remember there was one time, yeah, I'm totally, no, I don't know whether I'm gonna have enough time. I might have to do this in the story time, but basic gist of the story is, I was trying to be like, you know, golden housewife, stepbrother housewife, have the house completely beautiful, make mashed potato and, and this lovely dinner, and it all fell to pieces. And my husband came home and I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't cope. And it suddenly hit me that, I have a child and a husband. 
things have got to change. I might not be able to do a la carte like three course minute Jamie Oliver meets Nigella Lawson, whatever her name is, person, meal. It might just be two bit of potato and a bit of meat and you just have to drink some water and just carry on. It might be that. That might just be the way it is. But yeah, children change things and it's okay. Lesson nine. Now, this lesson has really been brought back to my memory in this last year and that's the importance of date night now i'm going to be the first to admit that we have totally lapsed on our date nights mainly because like of point number eight um and also because life just just got really busy and we kind of forgot about a few things but date nights are so crucial um and i was reminded of that in my roast most our most recent in our anniversary we went out again and i thought gosh i've forgotten how much fun we can have together and i think it's important that you continue to have date nights where possible and make sure that you spend that quality time together because you'll learn things about each other that perhaps you wouldn't have learned during the normal running of the day and um, because you're both relaxed you're in a different environment usually and it'll just it just helps to build that intimacy which is so vital because if you can have a marriage that you can endure but you'd rather have a marriage that you're going to enjoy whoa Whew. i hope you learned something from it please comment down below is there any lesson that you'd really like to hear my thoughts more on and i can build a whole series around these lessons as well um is there anything that you'd really like to learn a bit more about marriage please do comment below make sure you keep that uh, make sure you click that thumbs up button subscribe share this video with your friends and your family um and even people that you don't like like just share like the word is the word like it's not gonna do anything did you know by the way it's free like woohoo! how many free things do we get these days so please share this video i hope it's blessed you i hope you're enriched and um i shall see you in my next video take care god bless <laughs>